was like thinking of stories that I can talk about and it reminded me of something. Have you guys ever done a thing called like outdoor science camp? Have you, have you guys ever done... You, do you have you guys do that? Touch grass? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Shit and fighting. Shit and fighting. Little piss baby. Let's go. Magnum! Thank you so much for the 25 gifted. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the support. Outdoor science camp. Outdoor science camp is basically this thing when you're like in fifth grade uh, You go to the mountains for five days and that was the longest I've been away from my family ever And I had to go to this outdoor science camp for five days because you know, I like the stars um, It's kind of a nerdy thing, but I really like space and so I was pumped I was like, let's do it. But I you know, I got I got sad because I missed my parents, but it, it was fine it was like fifth grade and I went over there and I was there for five days and it was five days with a bunch of people and you got to choose the people that got to be in your cabin and then I realized that nobody picked me aside from my best friend um, and everybody picked my best friend because my best friend was popular um, so I got thrown in a cabin with um, friends that they, they were like if I were to equate them on my list of they were on the B list they were good friends to me and I hung out with them all the time but they didn't think I was their best buddy to, to go hang out with for five days and so I got paired with them and we were I was separated from my best buddy <laughs> and so I was in this cabin with like people that were all friends and I wasn't friends with them and then I remember one day we were all just sitting in a circle and we had to pick our favorite members of 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 the uh the little cabin and I remember, nobody chose me. I was like, fuck you bitches! Y'all are sick! I remember one of the girls that was in my cabin. She literally always went to my house because she didn't have like... Uh, uh, she was only able to afford like microwave meals. So I let her come over to my house and we'd feed her and hang out with her like every day. And that bitch is still fucking... <laughs> she didn't choose me! I'm like, I'm like, damn! Damn. I would have chosen you. Thank you. And I just remember like being like, okay, this is fine. Yeah, but it was it only went downhill from there. Because I, we had like a different group for hanging out with outside. Go ahead, thank you for the sub. And I didn't get my friend or my other friend. So I was <laughs> I was like with these random ass people. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Oh my god. And we had to drink their water have you guys ever had I was shitty about water to say it wasn't a massive l but i stand corrected pepe hands <laughs> it's okay i had fun being in nature and touching grass but shitty water what is your definition of shitty water guys because numi quick suko needs cpr banger song numi cpr I, I don't know what to do about that man i'm sorry <laughs> Dasani! Okay. Think about... Okay. Think about water. If I can describe the water that they had there... It's... It's water mixed with chlorine. It is chlorine water. That was the fucking water that they had at that place. It was... It smelled like actual... Donkey ass, bro. It was so stinky. And I was like, there's no fucking way I'm gonna drink this. I can't drink this because it tastes so horrible. It was so bad. And then I brought like two bottles of water for myself. And I didn't realize how much you needed to hydrate when you're in the mountains. Because it's harder to like breathe and you're drinking more water. And I couldn't drink any more of the chlorine water. Because it tasted so fucking bad. That I, I, just, I just ended up not drinking water. And then I woke up one morning. And I was like, I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying. And I like, collapsed onto the floor. And I was like, I, 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 I think I'm dying. And then like my my camp leader thought I was being like over dramatic, And she just fucking left. And I was like, but I like couldn't move. And it turns out I got dehydrated because I wasn't drinking water. And I was like losing my mind. I got dehydrated because of the lack of water. 
because I didn't want to drink that chlorine water and I ran out of my own water. And this one girl from my cabin, I call her the angel of all angels, was the only one that noticed me because everybody else just left. <laughs> everybody just fucking walked out of the cabin. <laughs> and they're like, anyways, bye. And they just left. And then I was just like laying there. And then she was all like, Numi? Numi, are you okay? And I was like, uh, I, I, I'm dying. And she came up to me. She's like, here, drink this water. And it was safe water. And then I drank it. And then I felt the energy just flow back into my body. Because I finally had some liquids inside of me. And I was like, you saved my life. You saved my life. And I remember her name resembled Bronzor, the Pokemon. And I thought of her as my savior. Ever since that day. It, it, could it have been a hallucination? I don't even know. Why didn't you marry her? <laughs> I may as well have after that. I was like, you're the only one that cared me. You're the only one that cared me. And then after that, I was like, I have no choice but to drink that shitty water if I want to survive. And so that's how I learned how to chug drinks. Even if I hated the taste, I just held my breath and just chugged it. Because I found out that if you drink two glasses of their shitty water, they'd let you have juice. They'd let you have fruit punch. And so I, I just did it every day. Did I say Bazinga after? I had no energy. I was just like... And then... <laughs> Bronzor choose you. She was the one that said Bazinga. She's like, uh, Bazinga. <laughs> I don't think that's what happened. You were dying and she didn't give you CPR? Mr. Golden Opportunity there, no. Uh, you know what? I don't think I needed that kind of CPR. I think I just needed some water. And I had an opportunity, no opportunity, because I was dying. <laughs> And then I remember, like, one of the girls... We had to go take showers, but we were only allowed to take a five-minute shower. And the girl's like, you guys better take a five-minute shower or I'm gonna go in there myself and finish washing you. And I was like... A little sus. You're gonna come in here and you're gonna... You're gonna come in here and just... You're just gonna... You're just... What? And nobody questioned her. And I felt like I was the only one. I was like, wait... <laughs> I was thinking of just staying in there for longer than five minutes. I was like, do you think she... <laughs> do you think she... Do? I mean... Was she serious? Well... Oh, it went... Give me no problem. But, um, I mean, I still showered because I was... I was... I didn't want to waste the water. But I was just like, what if... But what if? What if I didn't finish my shower? <laughs> what if I didn't finish my shower in the amount of time? To this day, I still wonder if she would have done it. <laughs> she fucking try me. <laughs> Don't punk me. Is going over five minutes an invitation now? You know, I to this day, I, I never know. I should have tested the limits to see what would have happened. But, you know, I... I pfft, those girls already didn't give a shit about me anyway. They left me to die. So maybe she would have just... She, she cared about everybody but me. <laughs> but, you know... I... It was all right. We were all hiking together and having an all right time. And then I ended up falling and almost falling into a frozen, like a lake that was like freaking cold. And then I got saved by this beautiful man. And he's like, God damn it, Numi. You almost got killed. And I was like, you know, it's not the first time I almost died this week. <laughs> and I was like, I need to go potty. And then he's like, you need to, you need to go potty. But we're in the forest. And I was like, yes. And he's like, you're going to have to dig a hole, Numi. I was like, a hole? Poop in a hole? I had to go into the forest. And dig a hole. I felt like I was Bear Grylls that day. Add a girl? What do you mean, add a girl? <laughs> How are you gonna wipe? They gave me butt wipes. <laughs> I, I I just remember like after I finished my business behind the bush, I went forward and there was some the same fucking girl. 
that was saying she was gonna come in if you if she caught you showering for longer than five minutes and she was like oh oh i didn't know you were using this bush but she was already fucking squatting i'm like girl there was like we are in the wilderness there are bushes all around us <laughs> Oh my god. She didn't want to touch grass ever again. You know it would be like that. I that I thought science camp was a trip. Turns out Numi is a ghost and that's why she's still thirsty to this day. I'm still looking for water. Sounds like basic military training what? arc. Y'all just shit next to each other in a bush? That's kinda cute. Kind of crush looking for the two minds. Thank you for the prime. I remember the first night I woke up and I was like looking out of the window because I had the top bunk. And when I was like looking out of the window, I was half awake and a fucking bear walked by the 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 the, the place. And I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Lucky bastard on top of <laughs> I wanted it. <laughs> oh my god. We were in the wilderness, bro. There were bears and I saw it and I was like <laughs> The bear is more scared of you. I didn't do anything, but I just saw it. And then I just went back to bed and I was like, well, but anyways. <laughs> and then I also found out during that trip that I was a pog at archery. I don't know what happened, but like when I did the archery, I hit the bullseye. I was like, okay, maybe Numi is swag. And it was that day that Numi realized instead of Yepcock, she wanted Naimasi. Naimasi. <laughs> Yepcock. Yepcock. But God, that, that was one of the only times I ever went camping. It's dance time. The cookie. The cookie. <laughs> It's always okay. 